हॅलो एव्हरी वन माय सेल्फ कल्पना चौधरी डिपार्टमेंट ऑफ केमिस्ट्री आर बी एन बी कॉलेज श्रीरामपूर वी हॅव स्टार्टेड अवर टॉपिक केमिकल थर्मोडायनॅमिक्स अँड लेटस सी द नेक्स्ट कन्सेप्ट फ्रॉम दिस टॉपिक दॅट इज स्टँडर्ड एन्थाल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन लेट अस डिफाईन फर्स्ट वॉट इज स्टँडर्ड एन्थाल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन स्टँडर्ड एन्थाल्पी ऑफ फॉर्मेशन इज नथिंग बट द एन्थाल्पी चेंज अ कंपनिंग अ केमिकल रिॲक्शन इन विच वन मोल ऑफ a chemical substance in its standard state takes place from its elements which are also present in their standard states for example formation of one mole of ch4 consider here ch4 gas is formed from its constituent elements carbon and hydrogen carbon is present in its standard state that is here graphite form of carbon is considered and here hydrogen is also present in its standard state that is gaseous state and here one mole of ch4 gas is formed and hence in this reaction the corresponding enthalpy change is considered as a standard enthalpy of formation and that is denoted by delta f h degree for ch4 so in bracket ch4 is equal to that value is given by minus 74.8 kilo joule per mole now here let us see the second term standard enthalpy of combustion now let us define first what is been by standard enthalpy of combustion it is the enthalpy change accompanying a chemical reaction in which one mole of any substance that is present in gaseous state that completely oxidized then corresponding enthalpy change is considered as standard enthalpy of combustion that means in this combustion what happens combustion means oxidation when one mole of gaseous state of substance undergoes completely oxidized then here the corresponding enthalpy change is considered as standard enthalpy of combustion now let us see for example ethene gas here one mole of ethene gas is considered that is completely oxidized to form carbon dioxide and water and here corresponding enthalpy is also called as in standard enthalpy of reaction and here combustion takes place that means here ethene undergoes oxidation and so this enthalpy standard enthalpy of reaction is considered as standard enthalpy of combustion and that is denoted by the symbol delta c h degree in bracket c2 h2 because here ethene undergoes combustion is equal to that value is given by minus 1300 kilo joule per mole now let us see the next concept how that standard enthalpy of reactions are calculated by using standard enthalpy of enthalpies of formation now let us see first a general chemical equation a moles of a that combines with b moles of b to form c moles of c plus d moles of d then here that standard enthalpy of reaction for this equation is given by here c moles of standard enthalpy of c plus d moles of standard enthalpy of d minus a moles of standard enthalpy of a plus b moles of standard enthalpy of reactant b now to find out standard enthalpy of reaction from the standard enthalpy of formation we have to follow two steps first step is standard enthalpy of formation of all the elements in their standard states are always zero for example if we consider standard enthalpy of formation for h2 in gaseous state that is also equal to standard enthalpy of formation for cl2 or that is equal to standard enthalpy of formation for carbon and all these enthalpies are found to be zero this point is important standard enthalpies of formation of all the elements in their standard state that is always zero and second point is the standard enthalpies of formation standard enthalpies of formation 
of any compound a of any compound is always equals standard enthalpy of that compound here second is second step is what standard enthalpy of formation of any compound that always equals standard enthalpy of that compound and by using these two steps here we can write next step for this general chemical equation as here we are written here c moles of standard enthalpy of product c plus d moles of standard enthalpy of product d minus a moles of standard enthalpy of reactant a plus b moles of standard enthalpy of reactant b now we know that standard enthalpy is always equal to standard enthalpy of formation now let us here write c moles of here we can write standard enthalpy of react product c as standard enthalpy of formation of c plus d moles of standard enthalpy of formation of d and minus a moles of standard enthalpy of formation of a plus b moles of standard enthalpy of formation of b and here nothing but here c moles of standard enthalpy of formation of product c plus d moles of standard enthalpy of formation of second product d so here we can write summation of standard enthalpies of products minus this one is summation of enthalpies of standard enthalpies of formation of reactant so here summation of standard enthalpies of formation of reactant and so from the form standard enthalpy of formation we can find out standard enthalpy of the corresponding reaction and that is given by this formula standard enthalpy of reaction is equal to summation of standard enthalpy of formation of product minus summation of standard enthalpies of formation of reactant and now consider the next concept from this topic that is bond enthalpy now in a given chemical compound different types of bonds are there that means every substance is associated with different types of bonds and so here breaking of that bond that needs some energy now let us see here what is that bond enthalpy here the enthalpy change required to break a particular covalent bond in one mole of gaseous molecule and it produces gaseous atoms or radicals then the corresponding enthalpy change is called as bond enthalpy every substance is associated with a definite amount of energy and when breaking of that bond takes place whatever that enthalpy change observed that is nothing but a standard enthalpy for that corresponding reaction now let us see here h2 gas in that h2 gas one bond is present between two hydrogen atoms and that bond is covalent bond to break that covalent bond between two hydrogen atoms in h2 here we'll get formation of two hydrogen atoms in their gaseous state and here corresponding enthalpy change for this reaction that is found to be 436.4 kilo joule 436.4 kilo joule and hence the bond enthalpy for h2 gas that is found to be 436.4 kilo joule now let us see here here only one bond is present in h2 gas but if we consider polyatomic molecules what is been by polyatomic molecules the molecules in which number of atoms are more than 2 
or more than two or more atoms are present in a molecule then that molecule is said to be polyatomic molecule now in case of polyatomic molecule although the bonds are looking same the energy required to break that bonds is different now let us see our example and that bond enthalpy is considered as average bond enthalpy for example consider here H2O gas that is present in the gas listed. Now in H2O that two OH bonds are present. Two OH bonds are present. Now here in first step first OH bond breaking takes place and we will get formation of H2O gas that gives OH, OH gas plus hydrogen gas and corresponding enthalpy change for this first step that is found to be 499 kilojoule and in second step the second OH bond breaking takes place and we will get formation of oxygen gas plus hydrogen gas atoms and corresponding enthalpy change in this reaction that is found to be 428 kilojoule now here we have to find out bond enthalpy in water. Now we have to do summation of both these steps. Then we will get bond enthalpy. But here whatever bond enthalpy we will get that, that is the average bond enthalpy. Because here bond breaking takes place in polyatomic molecules in stepwise manner. And hence here whatever bond enthalpy is there that is nothing but average bond enthalpy. Now here if we do summation here OH, OH that will get cancelled because that is present on both the sides. So here we will get here H2O gas that gives twice H gas plus oxygen gas. And here summation of enthalpies in both steps that is found to be delta r h degree is equal to 927 kilo joule and hence average bond enthalpy in water molecule that is found to be 927 kilo joule now let us see the next concept from this topic that is bond enthalpy in a chemical reaction bond enthalpy in a chemical reaction now here what happens whatever that molecules are there first bond formation takes place and after bond breaking takes place so here the enthalpy change in chemical reaction that we'll consider here first consider for example h2 gas plus i2 gas here we'll get formation of twice h i gas then here what happens here we have to find out that bond enthalpy for this chemical reaction now here first bond formation takes place and then bond breaking takes place so here the enthalpy change for this chemical reaction is here we will get enthalpy of first first reactant is H2 so here enthalpy of this H H bond plus second reactant is I2 gas so here standard enthalpy for the breaking of formation of that I I bond and then here we have to subtract here two moles are formed so here minus 2 into that standard enthalpy of HI bond and so in general we can write standard enthalpy for chemical reaction is equal to here we have done summation summation of standard enthalpy of that reactant minus summation of standard enthalpies of product and this will give us corresponding enthalpy change for the given chemical reaction what is that standard enthalpy change for the chemical reaction is equal to summation of 
स्टैंडर्ड एंथालपीज ऑफ रिएक्टेंट माइनस समेशन ऑफ स्टैंडर्ड एंथालपीज ऑफ प्रोडक्ट एंड दस विल फाइंड आउट द बॉन्ड एंथालपी इन अ केमिकल रिएक्शन बाय यूजिंग दिस फॉर्म्यूला नाउ लेट अस स्टॉप हियर थैंक यू